All righty. Hello, hello, and welcome to another Everflow webinar. As always, I'm your host, Isaac Mayer, and today we're going to be talking about your success settings, revenue and payout, caps, landing pages, and more. But first, I'd love to set the stage and tell you a little bit about what we're going to be talking about today. So as always, you're going to do an introduction into uh, myself. We're going to talk about your custom settings, a brief introduction to what they are. Uh, the custom settings we're going to be talking about today are your pay on revenue, caps, throttle rate, landing pages, and creatives. After that, we'll talk about Everflow Pay, which we released last year and our clients have had tremendous success with. We'll then get into some upcoming events where you can meet some of the Everflow team. Finally, we'll finish off with our question and answer. At any point, if you do have any questions, you can ask them on the right side of your screen and we'll be, we'll be more than glad to answer them at the end of the presentation. But jumping into things, uh, hello, my name is Isaac Mayer. You've probably seen me before if you've attended a previous Everflow webinar. I'm a customer success manager with Everflow, and I've been in affiliate marketing for six years. Uh, today, I'll be sharing some of the information that I've garnered over that time. Uh, and I'm based out in San Francisco, California. Um, so this is my opportunity usually to share a few fun facts about myself. But one fun fact about myself is that I do love fun facts. And since we're talking about settings today, uh, a Tiffany setting is where a diamond is raised above the band by six prongs. Uh, it was introduced by Tiffany & Co. in 1886 and has since become one of the most popular engagement ring styles worldwide. Another setting fun fact, Irish setters are known for their vibrant red coat, but their original color was actually more of a deep chestnut. That red color became popular in the 19th century through selective breeding. However, we're not here to talk just about those custom settings. We're talking about setting yourself up for success with custom settings in Everflow. So uh, introduction to custom settings. Uh, custom settings are essentially how you alter the performance of your offer. Uh, and you can do this in a bunch of different ways. You can do that through uh, certain variables that come in. You can do it through targeting such as uh, geolocation. Uh, you can also do it on uh, certain things based on the, uh, the device or operating system that someone is using. So let's jump into what those custom settings actually are. So we're going to start out with your custom payout and revenue setting. So you can set payouts and revenues based on certain factors such as your partner, uh, which partner it is, uh, targeting and variables. And I'm going to stop sharing my screen for now and start sharing my screen so we can actually check out the Everflow dashboard. All right, should be able to see the Everflow dashboard now. So before we jump into these custom settings, I'm gonna show you exactly how we get to them. So we're going to go to offers, manage. We're going to find the custom, or sorry, the offer that we want to edit. Today it's Isaac webinar test offer. It's almost as if this was created just for the webinar. How amazing. We're going to go to this fourth tab here, custom settings. And here we have access to all these beautiful custom settings. The first one I'm talking about, like I said, is going to be this custom payout and revenue setting. Now I'm going to go through one that I've already created just to make it nice and quick and easy. Although it is pretty easy to set this up yourself. So for this custom payout and revenue setting, we can set it to active or inactive. Inactive can be good if we want to set this up for the future. Perhaps we want to have this ready uh, for when someone's ready to, to implement it. We can set up a description uh, that's internal and a public description for your partners to see. We can also set up a certain time that this is effective between if maybe this is only uh, relevant during a certain time. Now, one of the most important parts, and I would argue the most important part of a custom revenue and payout setting is applying a custom payout and revenue, of course. So in this case, you can choose uh, either or both, um, and you can set up specific payout uh, or revenue for this setting based on the variables um, that we'll talk about in just a moment. So looking at the partners down here, we can have this apply to all partners if we like. However, if there's a certain partner that we want to, this to apply to uh, only, uh, we can set them right there. We can also choose if we fire the partner post back. Here we can choose if we are fired uh, using this custom setting on the base event 
um, or, or sorry, the base conversion or other events. And we can also have it apply to only specific off our URLs if we like. Getting into targeting. Uh, this is where we can decide if the custom revenue and payout setting affects um, our, our customers in, in certain areas, uh, given certain characteristics. Uh, like many of our other custom settings, we have the ability to designate if this happens based on device type, uh, browser, device brand, OS version. Uh, we also offer the ability to do this based on geolocation. That can be country, region, city. Um, you can enter zip codes if you like. IP ranges, um, even connection types down here. We can also choose if this does or does not apply to proxy traffic. And finally, we can set this to only apply to certain times of day if we like. Getting into variables, um, once again, just like the rest of our custom settings, we can uh, uh, enable variables here, um, certain things that come into your parameters here, um, and we can set as many variables as well. Uh, sorry, up to 200 variables there. Uh, we can also set this up for certain products. All right, we have talked about custom payout revenue. Let's talk a little bit about caps. Let's go here and edit. So caps are great if you want to uh, stop paying out conversion at a certain point or want a notification once uh, your partners have hit a certain amount of conversions uh, or certain amount of payouts, certain amount of revenue, certain amount of clicks. Um, a hard cap is always enforced, meaning that any clicks occurring after the threshold has been met will be blocked uh, and subsequent conversions and events would automatically be set to a pending status. A soft cap is a little softer. Uh, most of our, uh, or sorry, sorry, sorry many networks uh, prefer to set soft caps for their partners to avoid interrupting their partner's user experience with blocked clicks. A soft soft cap will send you a notification once a threshold has been met, um, but it still allows to, the traffic to flow normally. You can see here we have the offer set, set for, set it up for a specific partner, choose hard or soft, and then we can set um, certain intervals. So in this case, we would do uh, monthly. So uh, if the clicks were to go over 6,000 in the month, then we'd implement that hard cap if we have that setting. We can do this with conversions. Once again, a number of conversions with payout, payout amount, uh, revenue amount. This can be great if you only have a, a certain budget to pay out to partners. You can make sure you don't go over that. Let's check out the custom throttle rate settings. So from your throttle, you can designate a certain percentage of your traffic to be set to rejected or pending. This can be really great when maybe you're trying out a new offer and you just wanna make sure that things are legitimate. Maybe you're not sure how much traffic is gonna go out and you wanna make sure you're not going over budget. Um, Essentially, this gives you the freedom to set a certain percentage of those conversions to reject it or pending, kind of like I said. Um, you can set that thought right here. You can also enable this um, only when certain variables are met or when certain targeting is met. Throttle is relatively cut and dry. Let's talk a little bit about landing pages. So landing pages allow you to designate a private landing page for a specific partner and offer. Uh, this will override the base destination URL. Um, this means that if a, a click comes in that falls into the criteria that you've set here, it will be directed to this special landing page rather than that base destination URL. So much like many of these other custom settings, we have the active, inactive. We can have this apply to specific offers if we like. We can set certain times this is uh, effective between enable variables. We have targeting just like we did for the other settings. Um, and then here's the fun part, I would argue the most important, where we can actually set what the landing page is. Um, here you can input that destination URL and you can add macros and parameters as you like. Finally, we do have the creatives. So we'll go here and edit our creative. Uh, this is where you can add a custom creative for um, for your offer. Um, only partners who have this custom setting will be assigned that creative. 
Uh, this is essentially a promotional inf information. It can be something like an image. Um, as you can see here, we have um, that it's uh, only certain partners are assigned to it. We can have it active and active, just like always. Um, we can have the actual creative here, uh, give the creative a name, and upload that image. There's a picture of me that we can use for this one, the Isaac webinar test offer. So those are your custom settings on your offer. Let's jump back into the presentation. Should be able to see that. Let's talk a little bit about Everflow Pay. Now, Everflow Pay is something that we came out with last year that our clients have had a ton of success with. Why? Well, let me answer that question for you. So Everflow Pay actually allows you to automate generating your invoices and payments to partners. It is the only payment method that is automated at your partner signup to make it seamless. Um, it'll also show your partners a warning bar on their dashboard to enter their payment info if they haven't done it yet. It's the only payment service that does that. Um, ultimately, this allows you to save time in setting up the partner billing method um, and makes it so you don't have to chase down your partners to input that information. Uh, like I said, this is a seamless partner payments onboarding experience. If you are interested in learning about more about Everflow Pay or adding it to your Everflow account, you can contact support at pay.help at everflow.io or hit up your customer success team in the chat. We'll be more than glad to answer any of your questions as always. So what's next? You loved this webinar. You're excited to meet the team. We're excited to meet you. On May 14th, you can do some top golf with us at the Partner Pro Tee Off in Miami, Florida. That sounds fantastic. Uh, June 4th through 6th, the Money 2020 uh, event in Europe, Amsterdam. You can see us there. And getting out into July, uh, the 29th through 30th, we'll be at Affiliate Summit East in New York City. You guessed it, New York. Now, there may be some other events being added uh, between May and June, and I'll be sure to update you on those in the upcoming webinars. But we hope to see you there. So thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us on this Everflow webinar. Um, it's been a tremendous pleasure to, to give this webinar again. I always have a great time on these. I hope you do too. If you do have any questions, now is the time to ask them. I will, will be more than glad to answer any of them. Um, but as always, your customer success team is here and available for one-on-one -on -one questions and feedback if you do have any questions. So thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.